Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Rysom. I am super excited to return to my very popular series on great questions in web handling. In this clip, I will answer the question of whether it is the winder's fault. In the next clip, we will answer whether it is the web's fault. In the third in this series, we will have a single surprise answer to general questions like this. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. This is a great question, as are all clips in this series. What makes a great question, you ask? First, winding defects of all types, and there are more than 100 types, are usually in the top three causes of waste, delay, and customer complaints in most plants. Second, winding is universal in web to roll, roll to roll, and roll to sheet plants. Third, it is not easy to give a short, simple answer, but I will try my best here. Finally, more than any others in this series of questions, we have lots of customer, supplier, finger pointing. This leads to confusion, frustration, and delay. So let's get started. This one single question, perhaps more than any others in this series, can easily lead one astray onto wrong paths and into dead ends. For example, just because you or your customer sees a defect on a wound roll does not necessarily mean that the winder made it. It could be a result of sample location, time dependence, or transportation. Second, even if the defect was made in the wound roll, it might have had help from upstream. Gauge bands and thickness variations from upstream manufacturing and converting is a key element in the mechanics of dozens of defects and makes dozens worse. Even if the thickness variations in of, of themselves are not the root cause. Third, even if the defect was made on the winder, it might have been inevitable. There are a dozen defects that will happen on any make and model of winder under any TNT settings. Defects such as these are not winding defects, but rather product process design defects. As I teach in my advanced winding school, certain cases of blocking, bulk loss, core crush, poor roll ends, and others are best thought of as product, process, or DFM design problems rather than winding problems. Because in extreme cases, these defects have no winding solution. Stay tuned because in a few slides I will tell you how to tell if the defect has a winding solution. The first effective clue to look for in a winding defect, as opposed to merely one found on wound rolls, is that the specific defect favors a certain roll radius. This could be at or just above the core, at some event in the middle of the roll, or near the outside of the roll. To tell whether there's a radius dependence is simple. Merely count the number of defects in several radius regions in the wound roll. The second effective clue for a winding defect is that the frequency of a specific defect is sensitive to large enough changes in the TNTs, or in short, wound roll tightness. Note, we do not use frequency dependence of different products. That is expected and of only secondary interest for troubleshooters. 
Instead, we look at tightness dependence for one specific defect on one specific product. The trial is easy. Simply slam all of the tightness knobs in one direction and compare it with the frequency of that defect when all the knobs are slammed into the other direction. People who have taken my award-winning and trademark web one on class will easily recognize why we slam all of the knobs at once rather than play with one knob, taper, or curves. The third clue is also quite simple. That is to see if the exact same wound roll can be successfully rewound on a different winder. Any winder, make, model, or settings anywhere in the world will suffice for this trial. Any winder that can manage that rewind and make an acceptable wound roll means that that problem is a winding problem. If no winder can successfully rewind the product, then the problem is a product process design issue. So find a winder, perhaps a rewinder in your own plant. If you don't have a good candidate winder in your own plant, ship the troubled roll to a sister plant or to a contract converter. Winding is the best documented area of web handling, so there's no excuse in not doing some homework first. If you use the free Rysum Library search tool by Abbott App, you will find more than 1,000 articles, columns, papers, theses, and other publications on winding. You will also find 10 books, including two must-have references. The first is a defect encyclopedia, and the second being a winding textbook. However, let me suggest a far faster way, and that is to take my award-winning and trademark Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 students just like you, from operators to PhDs. In just two or three days, you will learn nearly everything you ever need to know about winding machines, winder controls, and winder defects. Thank you so very much for allowing me to share my thoughts on great questions in web handling. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will show how to tell if it is the web's fault. Please like and share if you found something interesting or useful here. See you next time.